Hey, it's Simone. Let's test the tuned nibs. Let's use the pens that I have purchased at the San Francisco Pen Show for the first time. Let's test out the pens that I was was given as a uh, loaner pens and look at the inks that I purchased. I My name is Simone. If you are new to this channel, I'm so glad you are here. I have just filmed a recap of the San Francisco Pen Show where I told my whole experience in a very long rambly video. Um, if you are interested in that, I will link it up in the cards here. But I am going to test all the things that I talked about uh, in this video right now. So I got this pen tuned by Kirk Spear. He had ground the nib originally, but something was off with the fine side of the nib. Uh, I'm going to dip all of the pens that I'm just trying and sharing with you today in a writing sample into Waterman Serenity Blue. This is the ink that I use to test all the pens. Uh, and this way I can get a better understanding of how each pen um, performs when I use the exact same ink. Of course, it's not the same um, with dipping instead of inking, but it is, if I dip all the pens in the same ink, it's still a good way to compare the inks. Now, I would like to write a title with my um, Estabrook Esty in Rainforest with a Techo nib. The ink in here is Platinum Carbon Black. All right, so let's start. Um, something with the finer side. This is a reverse architect nib and it would write really nicely on the reverse side, but the fine side here was super scratchy. So this is Yes, uh, an architect nib is best experienced when you write with uh, caps, all caps, but I also really enjoy writing with it in the in cursive or my kind of cursive. And then this is the fine side and it is not scratchy at all. Oh my gosh, I love this. This used to be my platinum carbon black pen for my journal. And I think this is what it's going to be after testing this out. This is a Twisby Mini. And I originally had this on a, a Twisby Eco. However, I sold that and I just removed the nib and put this on this um, section here. So yes, I'm super excited about this. I love how this writes. The next one is um, this Sailor Progress Slim. It, I think it's Autumn Sky. That doesn't sound right. Why? Maybe Autumn Sky is this red when the sun sets. I don't know. Um, maybe I have the name wrong. Um, I was sent this by a lovely viewer. Oh, what am I writing here? Um, Sailor. It was super dry. And it was very scratchy. And I have to say, this is a medium fine nib. It is quite lovely. So he tuned and smoothed. Well, that's what he did. Smoothed and wetter. Yep. I like this a lot now. I can see myself using this with colored inks. I didn't want to use this um, only with carbon black. That's the ink flowed really nicely in that pen. But you know, 
then I have two or three pens that are dedicated to the same ink, which, eh, why would I keep those pens? Last one was this Pilot E95S that I had actually planned to sell. And then at the last minute, I decided, why don't I just take it and see if he has time to um, work on this. This uh, was very, had a very dry flow. It's a soft nib. Uh, it's really nice. I like the writing experience with this pen, but every time I used an ink um, that was on the drier side, I would, on the upstroke, it would be really, really light, barely legible. And so I thought, well, if he could do that. So this is the Pilot E95S with a medium nib. Look. Look at the upstrokes. There's no light line anymore. It feels broader now. Don't know. And it kind of feels a little bit architecty. But you know, um, wet. Yeah. Look at this. Look at how this looks. I like it. I can't wait. I'm so glad I'm doing 30 inks 30 days in September because I can use all of those pens just once and see how it feels, what I think now. So then I bought a pen. This is the Franklin Christoph Model 2 in a one of a kind. And I think the grip section is primary manipulation. And what I forgot to say about this pen is that I did not realize that my friend Kristen and I basically bought the exact same pen. Her primary manipulation leans more towards the warmer tones, these darker, these reds and browns. Mine leans towards blue and I find that so fun. I, I just love that we noticed that she shared photos in my Discord. If you're interested to be a member, uh, I will leave a link that is valid for seven days down in the uh, description box. But yeah, she shared that. And then I purchased this. And then I looked at it, at her picture again at night. And I'm like, wait a minute. This looks like we have exactly the same pen. And we do. I, I like that. Um, because if you couldn't tell, I really like Kristen. So that's fun. Um... Yeah, and I I love the design of this pen. I like the minimal dosage of this uh, swirly material. It's uh, it's not. Uh, is this shiny? No. Let me grab my purple. So this is shiny. This is not. This is matte, and this is not matte. Um, so I have two of them now, and. I like that. I like that it's different. It's not uh, polished, but shiny, matte. Can't talk anymore. This is, um, yeah, here. That's where we are. The nib is a black coated medium sig, sig medium nib. Um, what I like about Franklin Christoph is that when you buy the pen from them, I mean, even though Audrey... I think Madison is her last name, works at Franklin Christoph and grinds these pens. I like that they bring a nib smith with them so that they can grind or not grind, smooth the nib. Um, so this is Franklin. Ha, huh. what is wrong here? Not enough soaky because I tried this before and it's super smooth. So... This is not how this works. There we go. Franklin Christoph Model 02. This is a sig medium nib. And the downstrokes look like this. Side strokes, up strokes, side strokes. Yep. This is also really lovely. Um, I am going to leave some space here for, oh, no, yep. I'm going to leave some space for the next nib and pen the after this 
because I want to see these next to each other, this and this. Then I on Sunday, I purchased the Ultim Shown Design full-size Ultim fountain pen with a medium monarch nib. And yeah, I am... So let me see how this feels now. This is my pen now. I only use their tester pen. So let's see if the experience is the same. So I need three lines maybe. Okay, this is, wow, this is great. Um, Ultim. And this has the tapered. They have the same pen just in straight lines. This is tapered. I don't know if I would post this. It feels really small. It does post securely, Ultim. So now you have to write Monarch Medium because they now have different um, nib sizes. Um, and then, I, I don't know. This is just so lovely and it feels so good. Um, let's reverse. Yeah, I, I love that you can write, use the pen on the reverse and you can still write with it. It doesn't feel scratchy. It feels really nice. I am looking forward to using this so much. You can't even, oh my God, this pen, this nib, lovely. Last pen I purchased, the rest is uh, loaner pens, is this Gravitas. And I should have looked up the, the name of the thing. I will put it on the screen right here. Um, this is, I think, their regular pocket pen. Um, and I put the nib that Kirksbeer ground for me on here. That's the reason, that's what I purchased this pen for. If this, both of this work well together. Uh, what I love about this is, listen. Ah, isn't that cool? Yeah, um, you can't really feel it when you hold it, but I love the sound. This is nice, tactic, <laughs> haptic. Um, yeah, feels good. I like, okay, not done yet. I like that there's a, what are these rings called? O-ring here uh, to seal the pen cap. I'm really looking forward to seeing what it does to the overall performance here. And now I'm dipping. And I am curious to see what ink does to this material. I am aware. Comes off. Does it stain? I don't know. I'm I'm going to use this pen. So this is um, Gravitas Pocket. Um, <laughs> white and this has a cursive smooth italic left oblique is that how you write it I don't know um, at Here is the downstrokes, here's the side strokes, here's the upstrokes, here's the lower, some strokes. Look at how wet and smooth this is. I love this. So here's the difference in these. I think this is a little bit broader than this. Uh, this feels sharper, even though this sounded sharper. Yeah, we will see. Okay, so these are the pens that I purchased or got tuned, nibs that I got ground. Then let's com continue dipping. This is the pen that, one of the pens that I was uh, loaned by uh, a friend from San Francisco. Um, she would like to sell these. So if this is a pen that you are interested in, 
It is called, now I forgot, Dusk Sand. Something with sand. Pink sand? Probably pink sand. Look at the vibrancy of this uh, acrylic resin. Lovely. And then it has a Heinz collaboration uh, nib. This is a scribe. Okay, so this is the... Uh, okay. Let me hold it higher and see what it does. Nope. Okay, sorry. This is the nib, SD. I think you need to write at a lower angle. SD pink. Oh yeah, like this. Mm -hmm. I can see that. So this basically is also a specialty grind instead of horizontal. This one is vertical, more like the reverse architect. The uh, scribe is essentially a, an architect nib, so it's fine line down strokes and uh, broader lines on the side strokes and then it will look like this let's say s and that's what i meant by this shines most when you use an architect in capital letters because then you have your up and side strokes um, most prominently what do you think about this pen color? And what do you think about this nib? Do you want it? Let me know. All right, the SD. Then she gave me a Pro Gear. This has a name. I forgot it. I will put it on the screen. This is a regular Pro Gear, not a Pro Gear Slim. So you can see the size difference. It's chunkier and a little bit taller um, this pen has a so well silver plated this is a gold nib what is that is that rhodium trim i don't know, I actually even know um it has a 21k nib it's the old pen uh, nib design i think i'm not really that familiar with sailor i haven't really expressed any interest in these pens until I wrote with one and thought, hmm, this is lovely. Um, so I, the medium fine in this pen was really um, very fine, very dry, uh, very scratchy. So I'm curious to see. No, this is not a pilot. This is a Sailor Pro Gear. Uh, some 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 kind of design and this is a medium fine nib. I like that it is bouncy. I didn't think that okay so maybe sailors aren't that bad after all. Okay you can see the upstrokes are drier not super dry but drier. They feel uh, compared to pilot nibs these feel more comparable to platinum nibs and they feel stiff doesn't mean that it's not a good writing experience so please don't mistake the word stiff as a bad word in description of fountain pens it's just different huh the, uh, yeah all of these pens i cannot wait to ink up and i think probably the next days that i am inking up pens for 30 inks 30 days it will be one of the new ones the tuned ones the borrowed ones last pen i can't even talk this is a sailor king of pen yeah i didn't even think i would ever get my hands on this besides maybe at a pen show to test this one has a two-toned 21 karat gold nib. It has a broad nib. Look at this chunker of a pen nib. I mean, I meant nib. Look at, look at the baby and the mother or the dad because it's black. But, you know, goth moms probably also wear black. Um, I like this. Wow. 
I'm super intrigued. And if this is the pen that I would love to own, then I can tell you I'm going to be broke for the rest of my life. This is such an expensive pen, and I'm so grateful that she trusts me with this. But uh, yeah, if you're on the hunt, and if you're interested in any of these, this one, the Esterbrook SD, uh, let me know, and I will get you in touch with the person who borrowed this to me. I think this is on the ver. This is comfortable in my hand. Would I post it? How does it feel? Oh, eh, I don't think so. Okay, this is a... <sighs> is it King of Pen or King of Pens? I don't know. Oh my God. Look at the bounds in this pen. And I don't think that... Oh my God. Wow. Which side strokes am I missing? Okay. I'll keep this. <laughs> uh, wow. Okay. Wow. So uh, I think your YouTuber up here is officially entering the realm of ex super expensive pens. Look at how this pen writes. Look at how this... Oh my gosh. This feels so amazing. I I cannot wait to actually use this and film a, a real video about it. I, wow, like floored. So let's dip this or use my paintbrush and see. So I purchased the, pen, the inks that I wanted to get. And that's the reason why I said in my other video, I probably shouldn't have bought them. I just wanted to buy a buy one, get one free. Uh, so I picked color number 82 and I will have to figure out what that is called in actual life because there is no English on this. No, there is no. It's uh, green. It looks very grassy. Uh, I hope it's not too light to be, uh, to be used. Um, let's dip this. I think I forgot my dip pen. Oh, no, I actually, it might be an ink that I, it looked really nice on the, the images, so that's why I got it. Let me just use my Techo and write. Number, what was the number again? 82. I will have to figure out what the actual color name is and add it here. I don't think I have a green that looks like this, so maybe it wasn't the worst choice. And then I have number 47, and I think I do have multiple colors in this color range. <laughs> if you look at this emeraldy teal, uh, again, I don't know what this is named. This is, did I say it? Number 47. Uh, yeah, so I wanted to actually get Suraquen green tea. I would have loved uh, Hydrangea would have been a nice one. But maybe this is more me. And I, you know, also I can share samples. So these two together were 25. I just didn't want to pass up on that deal. So I didn't. Okay, let's dip it. Well, maybe I don't have an ink that just looks like this. I will swatch these in my swatch book and then uh, maybe I shouldn't do this. Um, and then also, um, maybe I did choose some amazing inks. Uh, compare, it, it reminds me of Lamy Tourmaline, Tourmaline, but I'm not sure. It looks less green. Um, it reminds me actually of that ink that I liked at um, Andorillium Inks, which I don't know the name of and I don't have the uh, the paper where I wrote it down with me right here. I just filmed the other video 
in my living room and the whole living room is still a complete mess. So this is, I'm going to put it right here. Number 47. So I guess I didn't pick inks that are too bad. I mean, I know. But ink is never bad. So let's just com really quickly swatch the... Oh. Like, is this a lot of ink? Nope. Not at all. Let's do... Put this on the top right here. Uh, it, so washi tape is weird because you would think that a washi tape that is only five meters instead of like how many meters is this 10 or even three that's a bad deal it is but then also like what are you going to do with 10 meters of washi tape like you can sticker you can stick one of those into your journal for the rest of your life and not be done with it uh, so actually the better deal is, is the five but when you look at this like that then okay well oh i'm ripping the whole page now okay well i guess i'm not doing this then this is i guess some food related stuff with wine and stuff okay uh, then this one is the Ifakaku tape that I really want to wanted to get. It looked like so either they stuck it on paper so they could show the sample better, or this is actually washi tape that has backing. Yeah, it looks like it, which is okay. I I mean you can um, cut out certain shapes better when there is backing on the tape. Yeah, this is with backing. So I'm just going to look for scissors and then cut right here. And how big is this? Uh, okay. So now I'm wasting my expensive tape here. I'm just going to stick it down here because I think this tape is too fat. Mm. So this one I purchased from Toku Betsu Memory. The Eric Small Things washi tape is a washi tape that I received uh, at the workshop that I took. So these are just her designs and I think these are all her stamps and I just like it. And I like that it's so small so you can just cut this bit and stick it down somewhere. And when does the repeat begin again? Okay, so here with the people, this is the whole roll. Yep, nice, nice, nice. Oh, we're we're at twenty eight minutes again. <gasps> let's 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 do this real quick. And I guess if you're a fountain pen person, you don't like washi. You already stop watching. So this is Pion uh, Cat Girl is the name. And I mean, you know, my cat is sleeping right next to me right now, so it's fitting. And I know that this tape I can definitely share with many of my friends because they all like cats. Let's let's check when this uh, design reappears. Here. So this starting from here. Let me ugh. Is the whole um, repeat. I like the girl with the fish. Oh, maybe she's bringing home the fish for her. Yes, for her cat. Oh my gosh, I like this. I'm so glad I bought it. No, no buyer's remorse. In my other video, I said I didn't really have to buy it. Yeah, I did. I did. I so did have to buy this, this tape. Oh, I cannot wait to share this with my friends too. And because it's 10 meters, I can share it with lots of friends. Okay, let me put this right here. Oh! Okay, so that's my haul. I got some paper too. I got lots of stickers and I had the best time. Met some friends. Um, 
I am so happy that I went. I had a great time. I got some awesome things and I can't wait to use all of those. I am planning on filming separate videos for all of my pens that are new. I am planning on filming a video for uh, each of the loner pens. I am currently very invested in 30 inks 30 days so this is taking priority but then after that I am going to dig into the pen exploration and ink exploration and I have received so many ink samples from friends in the past two months. Uh, I brought a full bag, a zipper bag from um, the pen show and I just received packages from friends so I am so stuffed with ink that I can probably make ink swatching videos for the next next year. Uh, yeah, so I am busy and I hope I will see you soon on this channel or in my Discord or in Instagram or wherever you want to see me. Uh, I, before I leave, I am really bad at uh, replying to comments at the moment. Um... And I don't think that that's going to change in the near future. I wanted to let you know that I read each and every one of your comments. I appreciate you so much for taking the time. I love hearing what you have to say. But at the moment, this is just exceeding my bandwidth. Uh, if you would like to chat with me, then please join my Discord. I'm there every day checking in leaving a thing there's lots of very active members so if this might be overwhelming for you if this might be a discord that's overwhelming it's pretty busy at the moment i don't know if this is just the first month excitement or if this is going to continue like that forever i love it i love that there is a community there where people can speak very openly um, there is no judgment, um, everybody's welcome, and if somebody says something, then I am there to be your biggest uh, supporter and defender. So, that's what I wanted to say. I, I appreciate you, and I hope I will see you in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you for making my pen purchases possible. Most of the money that I, no, all of the money that I used was either Atlas affiliate money or YouTube payouts. And that wouldn't be possible if you wouldn't watch the videos. So thank you so much for that. I appreciate you. I will see you soon. Bye.